very exciting to go to Keio. It was a new school. It was, you know, really an honor to be accepted there. In 1968, Teresa Lancaster started Archbishop Keio High School. Her excitement would eventually turn into pure hell. I sought out the help of Father Maskell to uh, help patch things up between myself and my parents. And um, that's when the abuse started in the uh, fall of 1970. Father Joseph Maskell was the school's chaplain. He took myself and my friend Linda uh, to a wooded area where there was a lot of police cars and flashlights and stuff, and I was raped by two policemen there. Lancaster says she warned other girls at school to stay away from Maskell, but could not bring herself to tell anyone in authority about the abuse. He told me if I told anybody, he would shoot me and he would destroy the family. And it was just so scary, I, I didn't know where to go. In 1994, Lancaster filed a lawsuit against Maskell and others over the alleged abuse and used the name Jane Roe. The case did not go forward because of the statute of limitations. She later revealed her identity in the Keepers. I had received threats, actually. And um, now I'm at the point in my life that um, I'm not afraid anymore and I just think it's so important to get this story out there that I'm not going to hide. Lancaster plans to share her story as much as she can. It's like having a dark shadow over your head and now though that it's out in the open I feel like everybody is supporting me. I feel better about it now than I ever have and I just want people to know I'm there if like if they want to talk about it. And 20 years after filing her lawsuit in 2011, Lancaster went to mediation with the archdiocese. They listened to her story, apologized, and gave her $40,000. Maskell was never charged and died in 2001. Tomorrow we'll talk to Lancaster about the impact telling her story has had. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.